Hey, this is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to be answering a common question that we get from clients, which is, should I continue to be investing when the market's hitting all-time ties? And this is a pretty timely one at the moment because the market is pushing higher and higher. And a lot of people are saying, look, I want to wait on the sidelines for a discount. You know, like when you're going shopping, it's always better to buy on a sale. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about whether that's the right strategy when it comes to investing. Um, now, if you look back at the history in Australia, there have been since 1989 about 400 days in our share market where we've hit an all time high. So what we did is we looked at those 400 days and said, if you had only bought on those 400 days, what was your chance of earning a good return over the next 12 months, a positive return over the next 12 months? And what we found was that if you had only bought on those all-time highs days, your chance of making a positive return over the next year is actually identical to if you'd bought on all the other days. In, in other words, there is no difference in buying at an all-time high than buying not at an all-time high. Um, in fact, in 93% of occasions when an all-time high is met, another all-time high is reached within the next month. And so usually all-time highs lead to more all-time highs. Um, the other way we've looked at it is said, if you only bought on those 400 all-time high days, what would your return be over the next 12 months versus your return if you would bought on all the other days in history? And what we found was that from a capital return perspective, so forgetting about dividends, the average return over 12 months buying at an all-time high was 6.5% over the history of our market, whereas the average return not buying at an all-time high was 6.1%. So in fact, you've actually done slightly better in the past if you'd bought at an all-time high versus not an all-time high. Um, so with all that information in mind, really there's not a lot of difference between buying at an all-time high and not. In fact, although there's a lot of anchoring that people do and, and reluctance to buy at all-time highs, it is absolutely a sensible strategy. And if you are dollar cost averaging or regularly investing into the market, you shouldn't be stopping just because the market has reached an all-time high.